Serves You Right is a show where the hosts take your questions and do their best to guide you. They want you to know that they are not professionals and they are not responsible for any hardships that result in your actions. So chill and don't take it too seriously. Just sit back, relax, and let these guys handle your problems. You're not as messed up as you think you are. Your self-absorption makes you messier. Just settle down and you would feel a whole lot. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Serves You Right. Uh, Happy New Year. It's uh, it's finally here. Happy New Year. 2017. For real though, I'm already ready for 2018. <laughs> like I've already fucked up. <laughs> but like one second after it turns 2017, we already fucked up. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I was like, this year don't count guys. This year don't count. 2018 is my year. <laughs> So what did you guys do for New Year's Eve or New Year's Day? What 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 did you uh what did you guys have going on? Uh well, I went out to Splendora. My friend has a place out there and we pretty much just had a little get together party. Uh we played something called um Drunken Jenga and it was lots of fun. Each Jenga piece you pulled out, it had an action on it, and you had to do that action. Oh, like kiss the person next to you, or like... Or like switch shirts with the person sitting next to you, or tell two truths and a lie, and someone has to guess the lie. Oh. Or like rub rub this person's foot. I wouldn't play. <laughs> we played that. We played Cards Against Humanity. Just lots of drinking, you know. I remember like the first like half of it, the other half. I remember crying at one point and then you know sending harassing text messages to an ex at another point and then passing out oh wow mm-hmm. so it was fun it was you know one of the better times yeah that sounds like a hoot and a holler <laughs> <laughs> needless to say i woke up the next day apologizing <laughs> those are always the most fun nights i know the ones you have to apologize for uh new year same old me <laughs> same year sa- oh wait no sa- different year <laughs> same new same me year, new year <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Julie, what did you do up in Kansas? I uh, holed up in my apartment for four whole days. Actually, I finally found an Asian market that doesn't make me feel claustrophobic. And I went and I bought uh, stuff to make ramen and it was fucking delicious. I went to Whole Foods to go find this wine that... Um, you know the one that Andrea brought to... When we were at your house, Andy? That wine that she brought? It was like really good. Wine? Yeah, and apparently they didn't have any, they didn't sell any wine at this particular Whole Foods, so I was pissed. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what Whole Foods does not sell wine? Everyone in I there know, is so- for real though. Yeah, everyone in there is so upset about their life because they have to eat healthy that they're bound to drink some wine. I, <laughs> They didn't even have any vodka. They're so, they're prudes. Whole prudes. I ended up buying a fruit tart, a really huge fruit tart for like twenty eight dollars. It was it was pretty good actually. I ate it for like four days straight, and that was pretty much it. I didn't do anything at all. I was gonna do a Harry Potter marathon, but my old laptop. But you uh, got stuck masturbating the whole time instead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> my my fingers were pruny by the end of the week. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! <laughs> oh, that's so disgusting. <laughs> Oh, they're like they're waterlogged. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, kill me, please. No, actually, my my laptop didn't work, so I couldn't do that. So you know, I already started the year off wrong. What about you, Andy? What you do? I have failed at my <laughs> New Year's resolution. Uh, New Year, same me. Yeah, absolutely. New Year, same me. I have absolutely not given up salty bitches, and I have not only that, but. <laughs> turned into a giant pillar of salt i'm nothing but a salty bitch now so on the other hand though like i you know my actual real new year's resolution is going pretty well uh i am sticking to my diet i have resisted chocolate and the thing is like i feel really actually no please i'm dying someone please save me (laughs) please save me someone please save me i'm trapped in this prison (laughs) <laughs> my roommates made some buttermilk biscuits uh, and uh, chorizo y huevos yesterday, yeah. and I was, like, on my knees, like, clenching onto the stove for dear life, oh. sobbing as I just stared at it and resisted the temptation. Uh, yeah. oh. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I thought this conversation was going to go another way. I thought it was going to go so yeah. many other yeah. ways. <laughs> <laughs> like, you were on your knees what? in front of chorizo. 
and clenching. <laughs> All I heard was knees and clenching. Poor choice of words. <laughs> I get okay, clutching maybe. No, it's still not good. Gripping. <laughs> Gripping. It just Ooh. gets worse. <laughs> You know, it's a new year and we give advice. So let's help some people with their new years. Yes, I totally agree. So we have a question in from a listener. I've been trying to get my new girlfriend into bed for a while. She finally said yes and we discovered I cannot fit no matter what we tried. I ordered a new lube to try. Normally this isn't an issue. Maybe she is just smaller than normal? And that's from Dennis Reynolds in Philly. Philadelphia. Cheesesteaks. Subways. Is that a thing? They have subways? Is it sunny in Philadelphia right now? A little sunny. It's a little sunny up in here. <laughs> it's always sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> true that. True that. <laughs> I need pics, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that, that's my answer. Give me, give, Send me some pics. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but think that this is all a lie. You know, it's just... I don't, I don't think he's as big as you think he is. I don't know. I don't know, girl. He sounds pretty big. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Actually saying that, Julie, obviously, I mean, that's that's what I thought, too. That was my initial response. It, like, in my head, when I read this question, mm-hmm. I was like, uh, obviously someone just wanted to talk about their ego mm-hmm. and pretend, oh, maybe she's small, while not even bringing up <laughs> the size of his Johnson just to throw us off. And clearly, an ego reduction is in order. Interpret that how you must. If this is a legitimate problem, you need to get a girl with some wider dimensions, maybe. <laughs> or an excavation team. Either way, it sucks to be you. <laughs> that is so mean. Just excavate her chamber of secrets. I, I don't meet a lot of women who are small. So, I mean, yeah. obviously, he's like, is this normal? Because, I mean, he's not a virgin. He's had sex before. And so, oh. he's like, uh, what's happening? But at the same time, why does he think that this might not be normal? Is he a virgin? Pretty sure if women can pop out babies out of their out of their hole. They can they can fit a penis in there. They they can. Yeah, but there's a whole thing that goes into that. There's a whole thing of like, you know, expansion. Yeah, yeah it, it takes it takes like days and weeks to expand to like that thing come out. And it's like it's coming out the other end. It's not you know, the baby's not going in the hole, it's coming out the hole. And so that might have something to do with it, too. It stretches out. I don't know. Women anatomy. It's the worst. It really is. I mean, the anatomy of a woman is just the epitome of disgusting. Mm-hmm. I Aww. agree. No offense. No offense, ladies. Look. Offense taken. Offense taken. That is right. You're a feminist. So right. I knew you were going to take offense. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't understand why men are like they have to talk their girlfriends into sleeping with them. Like, it's like a chore. Like, I've, I've met guys like that where they say, oh, my girlfriend's not having sex with me because I pissed her off. Maybe he sent pictures of his and <laughs> she was like, that's not happening. Not until I am good and drunk. <laughs> Maybe that's the reason that she was denying him sex. That's very true. Maybe she's like, whoa, this is like a behemoth. Like, this ain't happening while I'm sober. Mm-mm, you're not putting that mammoth in me. Mm-mm, that's going to wreck me. I'm trying to get back to my smaller cervix in 2017. I don't want to <laughs> step backwards. Kegels. <laughs> Kegel. Kegels. <laughs> yeah, right. Get that cucumber. Do you some Kegels. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you got to tease that shit before you like just put it in. Mm-hmm. I'm doing it right now. Start with a carrot or something. I don't know. What's small? A finger. A finger. Right. <laughs> A finger. <laughs> then after that, two fingers. They have balls that you can put up there to do Kegels with. They sell them at, like, CVS Pharmacy. They're everywhere. Ew. I'm dead serious. Go down, like, the intimate aisle, and they sell these little Kegel balls. Actually, CVS sells sex toys. I was surprised I saw them on their website. I don't know. CVS is getting progressive AF, man. Yeah. Not too progressive. They stopped selling cigarettes. <laughs> well, that's progress. They're trying to prevent cancer. Yeah, I mean, you, you kind of wonder why, like, a drugstore sold cigarettes in the first place. Target stopped selling cigarettes first, and then whenever CVS stopped selling cigarettes, CVS and Target did a merger where CVS pharmacies are inside Target. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm, that's true. Dang. And I think it was all a business move. Conspiracy theories with Erica. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, talking about stretching out orifices of 
people's bodies. I think we have a Yahoo question, Julie. I have an uneven butt cheek and I don't know how to fix it. My right butt cheek is bigger than the left. Any suggestions on what I can do? And that was from the blah blah blahs. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Get them squats. Squat the fuck up. Uh, there's nothing a uh, surgery can fix. Just add a little bit more padding into that. You know, a little fat, a little oil grease. What do people use for <laughs> butchered uh, uh, plastic surgeries? Oh my gosh, they use, uh, they, what is it? I've heard people using liquid cement or whatever. Cement? They use cement, like cement. Uh, it's not cement? Yeah, cement. You can say <laughs> cement. It's cement or cement. It's the same no, thing. No, it's not. <laughs> How is it not? I thought oh. you said semen like four times. No, cement, whatever, anyway. Um, cement, whatever. Anyway, so they, they inject it in them. And then when it solidifies, it gets, but like it forms like all these like bulky things. Um, what do people also put in? It's um, it's a form of plastic that right. they inject in them too. And sometimes like doctors have to go in and they have to scrape this stuff out of their bodies. Mm-hmm. Nip tuck. Ew! What the fuck? It's really gross. Like it's really scary what people do to these people. It's it's crazy. They think that they if they buy someone online that they're legit and it's no. If you go on eBay or if you go on freaking Craigslist, they're not legit people. <laughs> you know, they're not going to they're not going to come to your house and give you guys botox. Like that's not no. <laughs> you know what she can also do like if her right butt cheek is bigger than the left, she could just sit on one side of her butt and it'll probably make it smaller. <laughs> Just like she's always sideways sitting on a chair. It's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what this girl needs to do is she needs to go up in that gym and she needs to do some squats. And just focus on that left that left butt cheek. I don't need, think your right one needs to. She could do some of those butt curls where like, you know, you're on your stomach and you do that little, you know, leg butt curl thing and you're working out your little butt. And so she can do that. No, because then it's going to get a more firm butt and it's still going to be uneven. No, then it'll be like kind of symmetrical. If you work out your butt, because, I mean, it sounds like she's just not working out the butt. It sounds like one's droopy and one other one's, ha- you know, happy. And so <laughs> I think if she just works out the butt, you know, everything will be fine. I'm sad. <laughs> oh, I'm sad. <laughs> uh, look, I'm from the South. And if you got a problem, you fix it with duct tape. <laughs> what I think is that you should take some duct tape. Stick it to your butt cheek, stand with your back to the mirror, and now pull up until they're even and just wrap it on your shoulder. Just stick it to your shoulder. Problem solved. Andy's new name is Andy Kardashian because that's what they do too. No way. Yes, they actually, like, they used to tell people they would duct tape their boobs together to make, like, perfect cleavage. And they would duct tape body parts. I'm going to do that for perfect cleavage from now on. Andy, Andy Kardashian. Mm-hmm. Or or do you prefer Andy Kardashian West? Yeah, hyphenate it, please. Oh, my gosh. No, you know what I saw the other day in a Walmart? Okay, so I was in a Walmart. What did And saw? they actually sell these butt pads that you can wear. So she can get these butt pads, not wear one and wear the other one. Oh, my God. And then when one gets old, she'll have another one. <laughs> exactly. So just get a butt pad from Walmart. Butt pads from Walmart. Walmart, can you please sponsor us? <laughs> please sponsor please us. Pick, pick, please pick us up, Walmart. We need your endorsement. Like they like need any help. <laughs> I will wear your butt pads. Great value butt pads. <laughs> great value. Yeah, butt great pads. value. <laughs> no, it's a quaint. It's a quaint, guys. A quaint butt pads. <laughs> Wait, it, I thought it. Wait, equate. I thought it was great value. No, I thought I thought they sold equate stuff. I thought that was from Walmart. No, they sell equate everywhere. It might be. No, it might be great value. Equate, I think, is a um. It's a knockoff of equal. No, every time I go to like Walmart, they have equate medicine, and it's like a brand. Huh. I think that's just a brand. No, their uh, their brand is great value. Maybe it is. Hey, because I... uh, my water bottles are great value. I just told you guys I'd buy that. That might be it. Two ninety eight water. Mine are from Sprouts. Julie, you got that pin with you today? Ugh. Or no. that bag of chips or that bottle of water? Okay, no, no. I made sure, but I, I do have <laughs> tap 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 tap. I do tap, have tap, my tap. my company cup, so you might hear it on occasions because uh, 
a bitch is thirsty. Nah, you play with it. Yeah, because I start getting, like, really anxious. Like, y'all don't even know. Whenever I'm, like, on this show, I get really, <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. Just, like, anxi- anxiety through like, the Like, I'm about to murder these bitches. That's how she feels. I can tell by the end of the episode, when I'm editing everything out, like, it starts to get increasingly worse. Like, there's a lot more tap, 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 <laughs> tap, taps of the pin. And there's a lot more, like, <laughs> <laughs> always eating something yeah i don't have it today okay because i i listen to the feedback andy i listen to your feedback oh do you really no (laughs) okay i do actually i do i just want to be better i just want andy to be happy with me i just want him to love me and and you know what my actual goal i'm gonna deviate a bit but my actual goal for this year is to make andy crack like, I've never made him laugh, like, really hard. And that's, like, my goal. I'm going to do it. Do it. I'm going to make him That's crack. a good goal. That's a really good goal okay. to have. Because <laughs> I, am, does. I am so dead inside. I want to laugh so hard and that mm-hmm. it brings me back to life. Like, my, I want my heart to grow three sizes that day. Yeah, okay, Grinch. <laughs> but that's my goal, for real. And I didn't. I was going to say that the last episode. I forgot. So now I say it now. <laughs> it's good that you have a goal for 2017. Right. 2017 is not looking good oh the world is supposed to end in october or september oh awesome yeah got a question look 2017 is already shaping up to be a real bummer for me i need some new activities that i can get into in a small town i like video games and stuff like that but i want to get deep into something more productive to society suggestions please and that's from restless in rutherfordton rutherfordton fuck that's hard to pronounce he should he should get into gundam building yeah oh dude i love gundam building i will tell everyone who wants a hobby build gundams (laughs) it is so much fun but then i read oh he wants to do something productive oh um you can always volunteer i mean no matter where you are no matter how small small your community is you'll always have outreach programs elderly programs you can go help elderly people out um mm-hmm. help them across streets meals on wheels uh exactly help them carry their groceries inside but i mean do you really want to do something productive to society do you really want to go that way do you really want to waste your time being productive that's wh- that's where i'm coming from yeah waste Just your say- time doing something else you're right yeah you know what start binge watching tv series you know what i'm binge watching right now Downton Abbey. I've heard that it's amazing, and I'm already on that season shit two. Is amazing. I watched the whole one whole season in one day, and I was like, "This is my life." I don't think you necessarily have to be productive to society to like find something to do. Maybe you've always wanted to do woodworking, or maybe you've always wanted to learn, you know, web design. This is your time to do it. If you live in a small town, there's not much to do. I know this because I'm from a small town. Find something to do. Hone a craft. Find something to do that's going to be productive to you. If you're productive to society, you're not helping much. Exactly. Society most of the time doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, they're like, oh, thanks. (laughs) Bye. Yeah, bye. (laughs) Start a local band. That's That's my advice. Start a local band. First of all, you can get famous. Second of all, you can make money. Third... You could sing songs that might be productive to society, like uh, songs about local government. I mean, and it doesn't necessarily have to be, like, rock bands or, like... Anarchy. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like that. But it could just be, like, you know, a good country song, like Rutherfordton Town Management said my broken down Chevy lawn ornament (laughs) was an eyesore. And I had to remove my baby or they'd give me a fine. That's amazing. Now I'm sitting in the passenger seat of old Bessie in my living room eating pork rinds, watching cops. That's my rendition of a country song. Cops. (laughs) Cops. They all sing about stupid shit. And they all sing like this. I agree. (laughs) Or sing about the locals and claim that they're all, like, fictional characters. Like, things that you know about other people. Because, look, it's a small town. Everyone knows everyone. Sarah D. 
with the large right butt cheek. She slept with my cousin, and now she's pregnant, but she tells everyone it's her husband's. <laughs> yeah, it sounds good. I'd do it. It makes me want to do something like that or just secretly, re- secretly record people. Oh, my God. <laughs> Creeper status. Watch out. Watch out, guys. <laughs> watch out. Erica's got a video camera. <laughs> I'm a creepy pasta. <laughs> you know, if you really want to be productive, you know, get get drunk one day and just just move to Houston. And eventually, maybe like four years later, you can start a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> a shitty podcast that starts with rice. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, story of my life. Grew up in a small town, big fish in a small pond. I think I'm, and you just get drunk one day. You're like, hey, I'm going to pack all this shit in my car and just drive to Houston. <laughs> And then you do, and then here you are, four years later, on this podcast. <laughs> this shitty podcast. On this <laughs> shitty podcast. Your future is uh, your future will be filled with leather bound notebooks, feather quills, and agora. And some you want kind some of real advice? Hipster affinity. You want some real advice? Take Julie's advice. Turn around and run in the opposite direction. That is the last thing that you want to do. I am, I am here, and I'm queer, and I'm here to, t- and I'm, and Get I'm gonna tell to you, it. it's not worth it. I'm here and I'm queer. Not in Houston, just gang it up. I was thinking about going to move to a small town again. Why? You would be so bored. I would. God. You would move to Hoboken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where that is. I mean, it's in New Jersey, but I don't even know what you do there. Gosh, we've been talking about all these places, but you know what place where I want to be right now? Yeah, let's go to the void. We got some shout outs this week. I don't know what to make of this first one. It's a shout out from Scooter to all the single ladies. Scooter says, shout out to the ones that need white chocolate in their lives. Hit me up. And then he didn't leave a number. He didn't yeah, leave I was about to say. A, an email. There's nothing. <laughs> that is the only context. So thank you, Scooter. Obviously, if you know a white chocolate named Scooter, hit him up. <laughs> <White> <laughs> Scooter, leave your information next time. This was probably sent in by, like, uh, someone who's, like, white chocolate that's been, like, dropped on the ground (laughs) and kicked and, like, (laughs) half eaten by a dog. Nobody wants that. Nobody's picking (laughs) that chocolate up. I just want want Scooter to know I fucking hate him. (laughs) (laughs) This white chocolate. White chocolate self. (laughs) That delicious white chocolate. I can't wait to <laughs> get into that. Guys, maybe you can't he... wait. You can't wait to what, Julie? To bite into that <laughs> used up white chocolate. Hey, <laughs> you hear that, Scooter? <laughs> now look, you guys are looking at this completely wrong. I took this as like Scooter has a small business that he is trying <laughs> to get off the ground, and he is trying to advertise for free on our podcast, <laughs> where he makes he is a connoisseur of white chocolate. <laughs> Is he, is he going to pay us to uh, promote his uh, Scooter's White Chocolate? Well, that's it's shitty ass promoting since he didn't put his business name. <laughs> yeah, he did a shitty job of promoting his, uh, his white chocolate business. <laughs> and hit me up. Come on now. Let's be professional. Yeah, just I mean, everyone, everyone nowadays just say sucks my dick. I mean, just come on. Our next shout out is to Manda Panda from Hezzy, Tiny Tim and Scruff and Stuff. Happy 21st birthday, you redheaded slut. I hope your day is filled with whiskey and adult lifestyle choices. Sip it down and enjoy a birthday song written by these three stooges. I'm assuming (laughs) they mean us. Probably. (laughs) Like 90% sure. (laughs) Okay, birthday song. Happy birthday, Birthday Manda Panda. Happy 21st birthday, you redheaded slut. 
Blow out them candles, baby. It's, it's your, your birthday. birthday. You can do what you want. Because wanna. you were born 21 years ago. You're going to drink some whiskey. It's time for you to be a slut and get drunk. You're 21. And adult lifestyles. 21. Yay. Get presents. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> Happy 21st birthday, you redheaded slut. From your sister, uncle, and your mother. It seems like everyone is having birthdays. I swear, I had like three friends that I had a birthday this month already. How can I have the birthday of my family and friends? That's from Yahoo user Manuel. So does he, does, does he want to have their birthdays or does he want to have a birthday with them there? Like I was very confused by the grammar he used. <laughs> I was like, do you want everyone else's birthday? I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> How can I have your birthday? Yeah, I like, want to have a birthday 365 days a week. I mean, 365 <laughs> days a year. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in the moon, obviously. It takes forever for like a week to pass. So You know what you could do? You should like, you should, like do a heist, kind of. Just like... A build, birthday heist. A birthday heist, that's right. And then you could be a like... Oh, yeah, right. And then you fill up a van with balloons, but then you pretend like you're going to kidnap them. And then whenever they start freaking out, they're like, oh, it's a prank because it's your birthday. And then they're going to be like, my birthday's not till like two years. <laughs> like two years. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> two years? <laughs> two years. <laughs> Four years because I was born in a leap year. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I've always wondered about those. I'm like, do people still celebrate or do they actually wait? I think they, it would be like March 1st, right? Would be their actual birthday. I think they do it on February 28th. But it's not their I've real seen. birthday. Yeah. Like they're imposing on everyone. The, everyone who has an actual birthday on March 1st, they are super imposing on their birthday. Like that's their special day and they're stealing it. Oh my God. But what do they do for like filing paperwork or when they try to enter in dates and the computer's like that date's not valid. <laughs> Can't compute. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so confused. Someone with a birthday on a leap year day needs to contact you're gonna, us. You're going to break the code. Computer's not going to be able to recognize the 29th of February. Wait, is it the 29th of February? Even I don't know. My yeah, brain can't compute is. that day. I think tech, I think they go by like, I think if you're like 72, what's 72 divided by four? Uh, I don't know, some amount. Overall, Divide that by math. four. <laughs> 18. 18. Right, so technically they're like 18 years old because they only have a birthday every four years. Damn. 18 is the new 72. 18 is the new 72. Oh, wait. No, the other way around. 72 is the new 18. 16 is the new 4. 4, four is the new 16. <laughs> <laughs> like, imagine that. <laughs> it's like, how old is your husband? He's four years old. <laughs> 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 but like, <laughs> excuse me, security. <laughs> security. What? <laughs> security, security. <laughs> <laughs> But I like I like how he put this like in all caps. Like he really wants to know how can he have the birthday of his family and friends. I guess if you force them, you can take away their birthday. I don't know if they'll like you after that, but you can always force them. You can you can always steal their purses and wallets. Very true. Yeah, and their identity. Oh. Now I think <gasps> I may have stumbled onto something good here. You can just steal their identity. Mm -hmm. Take their wallet, take their social Take their Starbucks card and go get your free birthday coffee. <laughs> now it's your birthday. There you go. Go, Manuel. It's your birthday. 365 days a year. <laughs> birthday party every day. Party, party, party. Well, this guy seems like he must have like a lot of family and friends that he cares about. It seems like this next question, uh, a lot of family members are caring about this one person in particular. Hey, guys. I'm having issues with my girlfriend's sister. She keeps making passes at me and messaging me behind her sister's back. It is getting weird as she is sending me pictures now and asking me if I will meet her without her sister around. She is very attractive. They both are. I'm just not sure what to do. Please help. And that's from John Harris in Houston. I want pictures, John. <laughs> She keeps asking for pictures. I want pictures. I always ask for pictures. I'm of like, the sister? No, of him. Like, why do they both want him? I want pictures. <laughs> this sounds like a porno I just watched recently. 
Are you sure he's not just describing a porno? I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. He's living in fantasy land. It's like, and then he woke he up might kind be, of thing. Honestly, you know, if he, if he's listening to our podcast, he's obviously delusional. So wait, wait, wait. Excuse me. Did you just assume his gender? <laughs> oh my god! It could be a girl. It could be a girl. A girl named John. I see that. Jean, and mm-hmm. it's pronounced a Jean. Excuse you, please. Mind your Jean, accent, please. Jean Harris. A Jean Perry. <laughs> You know, that's uh, that's tough titties, man. Um, it just depends on how much you love your girlfriend. Uh, if you like your girlfriend, maybe you should tell her, hey, your sister's being a slut. Um, if you don't really care, I mean, I would just still tell my girlfriend she's being a slut and watch the drama unfold. Because you know someone's going to get knocked the fuck out. No, 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 no. It's, you have to look. If you want to sit back and watch anything unfold, you've got to do it the right way. This is a trap. I'm telling you guys, it's a trap. Her sister and her have conspired against her boyfriend. Your girlfriend has put her sister up to this. She wants to see what you're going to do. I guarantee you. I guarantee you that's what she's done. I've known people who do that. Yeah. I, and I'm I like, would why would you do that? Him. Like, I mean, if you don't want to be with him, don't be with him. But I do want to be with him. I just want to make sure he wants to be with me. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> that's insanity. You have to make it backfire. Instead... Talk about crazy stuff that you're quote unquote into. Like, what do you want to do when we hang out alone? Oh, I want to come over and watch you clip your toenails and then eat them off the floor as you use my back as a footstool. (laughs) Things like that. You know, something really weird. (laughs) Freak her out. Honestly, let's say, because let's say that this is legitimate. Let's, for instance, hypothetical, because we know that her sister put her up to this. Let's say that it's legitimate. What is her sister going to do? Is she going to tell her what you're quote unquote into? So you got to really play it off really well. You have to make it not like you're trying to be creepy, but like you really want to do this with her. Okay. You really want to eat her toenail clippings. What is she going to do? Tell her sister. (laughs) It'll expose her secret. And not only that, but like it's going to work for you in two different ways. If your girlfriend put her sister up to this, then she might say something and be like, "Why? What in the world? What? Why? Why would you be into this? What? What? what, what? <laughs> and if she's not, if she did not put her up to this, if she did not put her up to this, then her sister is gonna think you're just a freakazoid, and like she's know, gonna look amazing. at her sister and you and your relationship and be like, "What the fuck does she see in him?" And she's always <laughs> gonna give you these looks that like she's disgusted with the both of you. She's gonna be like, "What do they do together?" Like if he's if the boyfriend's comfortable asking me to do this, what is she doing with him? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so she, she's guaranteed to leave you alone, and then you can just enjoy with, you know, you can just enjoy being with your girlfriend. I, I like I like the element of messing with their minds. I think it's funny. Put her pictures on the internet. Just put them on Pornhub. <gasps> put them on Pornhub. Oh, my Maybe God, Julie. Like, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> oh, my God, you're amazing. That's that's pretty funny. I'm, I like, mean, surprised Andy's not laughing. It's really funny. <laughs> that's because he's already oh done God. that to somebody. He's like, he's just reminiscing now. <laughs> he's reminiscing when he destroyed somebody's life. Act- actually, I've had it done to me. Oh. Oh, my God. Now I am going to be <laughs> on Pornhub for countless hours, not only for research, but to find those pictures. It's not on Pornhub. <laughs> this is why you don't put oh, your faces in pictures. It, it, you do not put your face in pictures. Just saying. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe she didn't put her face on there. Maybe just boobs. She better not. That's stupid. Oh, my God. Story time. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> we're not. We're not doing that. <laughs> Oh, no. I've dated shitty guys. That's about it. <laughs> I was out of high school. Like, the first person I dated, I was, like, uh, 18. So I was out of high school. So luckily, it was nothing that bad, but it was still bad. I don't know. You should probably just tell your girlfriend. Just be honest. Honesty is the best uh, remedy to the any policy. problem. It's the best policy. Honesty is the best policy. <laughs> what are you, my mom? We've said this before. Yeah, I'm your mom. Like, <laughs> I'm your mama. I'm your fucking. I'm your mama. Just call me mommy. Uh, Julie's into it. And you little <laughs> baby. 
<laughs> Come over here, let me cuddle you. Hey, Andy, be my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Come over here, let me feed you off my bosoms. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let me rock you to sleep and read you some bedtime stories. You need to suckle on mama's oh, teeth. <laughs> suckle, on, suckle on these teeth. Oh, this teeth. is going bad. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my advice. That's my crappy advice. Just tell your girlfriend. You know what? I I I live for I live for drama. I say I don't, but I live for that shit. I live for. Oh, that Oh, everybody shit. does. Yeah. You could just screen cap everything that the sister took, like everything that the sister sent you, screen cap it, send it to the family and be like, hey, look, look what your daughter is doing. Look what your sister's doing. She's a slut. Just tear that fucking family apart. Yes. No, dude, do it. Just be like, just mm-hmm. do it. Just be like, ha, ha, ha. Look at your, look at, look at your sister. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. <laughs> yeah. Just fucking destroy that grandma, whole family. Grandpa. Give him heart attacks. Exactly. Well, mouth to feed. Just like mass, mass send it out there. Post them on their great parents, gra- uh, great grandparents' uh, tombstones. Just place all those <laughs> texts, those pictures. Hey Sharon, uh, what's your grandma's telephone number? Okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> hey, what's uh, what's your what's your uncle Jimmy's phone number? Okay, cool, thanks. That would have to get really weird. No, 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 because you're like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send them a thank you card for what? Uh, thank you card. Just, just give me the numbers. <laughs> Yeah. Don't you need to send in my mail? Just just give me the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> just your Christmas cards. Put them on your Christmas cards. Send them out. In fact, just... just <gasps> yes! It could be like the picture on the front of the card. Then you open it. It says, Happy ho- Holidays. And a ho. Just, uh, you know, <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Happy Holidays. <laughs> Happy Holidays. <laughs> but geez, I mean, just family stuff. All this. It's just like all these questions about friends and family. I mean, I can't imagine all this stress. Right. Cakes, cakes, cakes. I'm going to invite my three friends to have dinner with me at my house. I'll serve butter cake for dessert. Is that not too bad? And that's from cakes. That's horrible. You should not serve that. That's an edible, sir. Don't do it. I actually had to Google butter cake because I didn't know what butter cake was. I mean, it looks good like to eat whenever you have nothing else to eat at home. Like you'll buy it in the grocery store. You know, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll eat on occasion. But that's like the last resort kind of thing. <laughs> it's like the last resort cake. <laughs> it's the last resort cake. <laughs> that's like the last of the cakes. It's like if you can't have any other cake, it's that's the cake you take. Yeah, that's that's. Um, cake. Yeah, I always, I always make apple cake. I always make Irish apple cake whenever I go anywhere or go do anything. <laughs> Everyone loves it. Gotta, gotta add the apples for health. Oh, Andy, you've had some of my apple cake, right? Yeah, on multiple occasions. It's pretty good. How often do you make it? <laughs> Every time she comes over. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hey, Erica. Oh, another apple cake. <laughs> it's, it's so really easy. Good. Is it like apple pie? Kind of. But it's like apple cake. Okay. So with apple pie, it's like more gooey and creamy in the center. But with apple cake, it's like a nice moist <gasps> cake with <gasps> apples in it. Moist. Wow moist <laughs> and then some people um actually put like a white drizzle on it too for the moistness <laughs> oh god <laughs> uh, if you guys could see andy's face moisten <laughs> moist moist uh, moisty i'm triggering <laughs> oh my god have you seen that video of the doctor or this guy talking about cake and he's like <laughs> Oh, he's like, like the moist. <laughs> <laughs> he's so lucky. He's oh, like, well. you gotta get it moist. <laughs> oh <laughs> so yeah, funny. I have seen oh, that. Yeah. Oh wait, and like, I cannot watch it. That's my favorite. I cannot watch it all the way through. I get so triggered. I'm like, stop. That's my favorite when they like <laughs> Photoshop. They put or his whatever. tongues for his eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no! I hate it. It triggers the fuck out of me. I can't handle it. Like, he's a master with that tongue. Like he's Clam it down. <laughs> if I if I go over to a friend's house and they serve me butter cake, getting the fuck out of there, what kind of friendship? What kind of friendship? Flip over the table. Yeah. Wow. Woof. This sounds like a dinner party I want to attend. Butter cake is awesome. I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's exactly what I want to eat when I'm with friends. Really? Cool. Really? 
<laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, like really? Yeah. <laughs> really. I hope there's some powdered sugar on top for like the wow factor, you know? The wow factor. <laughs> it's really going to like make it, you know, pop. pop. <sighs> Add some cherries for garnish. Yes, it's bad. What the fuck? Make something extravagant. Why would you serve butter cake? The point of dinner parties are to show off your skills in the kitchen. That's the point of having pretend. a dinner party. Yeah, it, yeah. Right. Exactly. Get some recipes online and do that. Make a nice souffle. Make a cherry pie cake is absolutely phenomenal. A crepe cake would be even better if you have the time. Oreo and Reese gut busting brownies. Fantastic. But don't serve butter cake. The fuck? Try harder, you Momo. <laughs> that sounds like something my grandma would say. You damn Momo, stop being lazy. You know, when I when I go to a party with my friends, if I go to my friend's house, I expect like those type of wedding cakes that are very intricate and have like these nice ass designs. You expect Tris Litchie's bitch. You're like, where the fuck ew, is this ew, Tris Litchie? Ew, I hate Hanging that. Hanging out these fucking Tr- Don't trigger people. me. Don't trigger me. Don't trigger me. Tris Litchie's is my trigger. I hate Tres Leches. Are you serious? You don't like Tres Leches? I don't like Tres Leches. I hate it. I hate moist cakes. But I love the word moist. So I'm going to say it again. Moist. 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 The last time we were at your house, your cake was Tres Leches. I know, but that's because my family likes it. I mean, we're Hispanic as fuck. We eat Tres Leches. Yeah, I know. That's the I, I keep saying Tres Leches. Every time leches. I go to your house, it's Tres like, fucking Leches. No, Tres Leches. Tres Leches. No. Tre- um, tres Leches. I don't like it. It's gross. I hate moist cake. Moist. 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 <laughs> That's going to be like <laughs> my Tourette's. <laughs> my Tourette's are acting up. Moist. <laughs> Shit. I can't. I, can't, I need to stop. Somebody's going to be like, you keep making fun of disabled people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, First, I make fun of the fatties with the glandular problems. Uh-huh. Now I'm making fun of people with Tourette's. <laughs> mm-hmm. But you know what? You know what I suggest this guy? He better have alcohol at this party. That's all I got to say. You either bring food or you bring the alcohol. Mm-hmm. Or you're going to have a real shitty dinner party. Yep. None of your friends are going to want to come back. Nobody is going to even want to be there. They got... <laughs> and you prop... What did you feed them? Cereal? Fruit Loops? Right before you, <laughs> you served serve them butter, butter cake? cake? <laughs> Jesus. Hey, here's some Idaho box mashed potatoes. God. Don't Full. knock them. They're amazing. Oh, uh-uh. I can eat those. Pa- oh, my God. No, I can eat Idaho packaged instant potatoes like just the whole thing. Oh, I can uh-uh. eat like I have that whole bowl in front of me and shove my fat Irish face. I love those instant potatoes. You cannot turn potatoes into flakes and still call it mashed potatoes. That's it's no. amazing. They did it's it. It's potato product. Oh, they did it. I don't know. Uh-uh. That, if it's not a- the real thing. That's the best chemical conversion ever. No, it's not a chemical conversion. It is. That's the best conversion of anything ever. They could they could tell me that that stuff has mercury in it. I would still eat it. Like it's amazing. <laughs> like I'm mean, just like fuck it. I don't give a fuck. Alzheimer's here I come. Like I'm gonna eat that shit, man. The only cakes you should be serving is your cakes. Cake, 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 cake. Hey, I'm get that serious. cake. Fat cake. 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 Yes. Yes. Serve, bitch. <laughs> Swerve. <laughs> Slay. And he's like, okay. <laughs> and I'm just, I love what just listening. Uh huh. No, she's probably, this is how I imagine Andy when he gets quiet. He's like, oh, these fucking bitches. What the fuck are they talking about in my podcast? You fucking little shits. No, that's not what I'm I wanted. I'm so sick of this fucking podcast. I'm tired of this shit. I'm about to throw my microphone on the floor and be like, well, can't record no more. Yeah. <laughs> You know, ever ever since we, <laughs> I mean, back then, you know how we, we just recently started doing like the the video phone thing. Back yeah. then, I couldn't see his face, but now I actually see his face disappoint right in front of get disappointed. I like, know, right in front of me. like I can see, I the can see him like quietly judging us. <laughs> no, I'm not judging anything. I'm listening to this fucking shit. <laughs> I hate these fucking assholes. <laughs> That's because y'all need to get on video. I get on video. No shame. I need no. I need to get on video. I took a shower, so I look like a hot mess. And the other day, I didn't shower for four days, and I was like, I "Oh can't my be on god, video. Erica!" <laughs> oh god, Erica! That's oh my god. Hey, if I'm not people. going anywhere and I'm like clean, like I'm not taking a shower. 
But how can you be clean? Like if I if I sit in a chair and I'm if I sit in a chair and play video games all day, I don't get dirty. So why am I gonna take a shower? I don't know about all that. I don't know. I have oily that. skin, so I have to. I have to take a shower every day. See, even I if, don't. Even if like let's say I shower at night and I get up in the morning, I still have to wash my hair before work. I get I have, I'm super oily. We're done with this episode, I think. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> That's enough advice for one episode. We don't want to give all the advice away. We don't want to give too much advice out we have to have some content for the future episodes right no good advice though yeah was ad- it though advice not really every time after this show ends i always have like a midlife crisis like was it advice was it though was it really <laughs> did i accomplish anything Hello, with my life my old friend. did i help this person become <laughs> a better person but to wrap this up you know i appreciate dennis and john sending those messages in and i want those pictures so it's been a great episode with you guys. Episode number nine. Guys, we've almost hit the double digits. <laughs> the double digits. <laughs> the double digits. Jimmy, Jimmy. The double digits. <laughs> 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 yeah, we've almost hit the double digits. I want to thank all of the people who listen to our show and have been so supportive of it. Uh, you guys have been great. Um, and if you have any shout outs that you want to send us, you can do so on our website at servesyourrightcast.com slash shout right and you can also send in your questions there as well on the ask us tab you can also send us questions through our email account which is serves you right cast at gmail.com don't forget we're on itunes so give us a listen rate us write a comment yeah that really helps us out yes nobody's done it yet really fuck yeah what the fuck guys we're on twitter guys twitter at searcast syr Cast. And we also have a Facebook where you can send your questions. That's facebook.com slash serves you right cast. And you can also find us on Instagram now. Uh, you know, all those millions of pictures that I put up already. Uh, like them. <laughs> <laughs> non existent pictures. But that's also like our non existent pictures. Sear cast. My favorite picture is the one of. Uh, of uh, you uh, being kissed on the forehead by President-elect Donald Trump. My forehead melted. <laughs> That's her bae. That's bae. We all want to... Yeah, we all. <laughs> wall. <laughs> wall. Why isn't it wall? It's y'all, but not wall. <laughs> <laughs> wall. <laughs> Wall. That's Donald. Donald Trump uses that all the time. Yeah, I learned it from. <laughs> I learned it from Daddy Trump. He's gonna drain the swamp. Wall. <laughs> <laughs> we also want to thank Frank Turner for the use of our theme song, "Reasons Not to Be an Idiot," off of the album "Last Minutes and Lost Evenings." Hey, have you guys ever seen uh, "Finding Nemo"? Yeah. Like the original yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> of you course. Know the first you one? know the niece <laughs> of the dentist. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Did you know that Juan was uh, Juan was originally <laughs> supposed to be the niece of the dentist in Finding, finding Nemo? Mm-hmm. He's so ahead mm-hmm. of his time. How progressive of him. Yep. They decided to go with uh, a girl, first of all. Someone with a just a little bit more of a girlish figure. And also someone uh, a, little, uh, a little less flamboyant. <laughs> This has been Serves You Right. I am your host, Andy. This is your host, Thirsty. And this is your host, Julie. This has been Serves You Right, and we just gave you advice your mother would never give you. Get outside. Get up and get down and get outside. Get up and get down and get outside. Get up and get down and get outside. I'm like really guarding my words now because then Andy puts them at the end. (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be careful now. So I teach you a lesson. <laughs>